So welcome back to Future Live Television. By special request, yet again, we've had Justin Urquhart-Stewart. Justin, we've had an awful lot of people watching us on LinkedIn and Twitter, so welcome back. Joe, um, thank you, I'm very flattered. My pleasure. I I'd like to turn to something that probably isn't the nicest thing to talk about. It's about us getting old and the impact of adult social care. We have local authorities running out of money. We have nursing and care homes uh, effectively shutting. The COVID crisis has been dramatic on this area and sector. How do we solve the problem, Justin? I think we need a new way of looking at this, and particularly in your specific area of focus you've always had throughout your career very successfully, is focusing on the family. Yeah. Family responsibility. Let's actually make the older generation have a value that the younger generations we wish to treasure and look after. When I mean a value, there's therefore a, an incentive to make sure your grandparents, parents, whoever else are properly looked after. So actually giving people the tax incentives so that you're going to be looking after them, you're going to be responsible for them, rather than just sort of saying it's down to the state. The state can't afford it. It won't be able to do so. So actually encourage families to look after their greater family, and that means actually saving right from the year dot, so starting your pension scheme when you're naught, and being able to have that flexible scheme which you talked about before for other things to be able to use for investment, but also to use for healthcare and old age care. So if I'm being suitably cynical over it, you're turning your grandparents into an extremely rather valuable tax break. But practically what you're also doing is solving the problem, not solving it, but addressing the problem to say, actually take this away from the state, giving back to the families to be able to make sure they can then look after them. Whether they look after themselves or financially making provision for them doesn't really matter, but they're taking greater responsibility away from the state. I think my genuine concern on this is it's become a little bit of a political hot potato. You know, one side scoring points after the other. This is actually far more important than politics. We've got to get a cross party consensus as to how we deal with this. And, and really, this sniping that we've seen from time to time has just got to be parked. Any, any observations on, on that kind of thing? What you have got to be able to do is, to, as you say, get it away from politics yeah. and get it down to practical finance. Where does the money come from? Now, you work on the assumption that the government doesn't have the money to be able to do so. Uh, you've got care homes who are doing their best but it's going to be very difficult for them to actually be financially viable very often. They're always on the edge. And then of course, increasing number of people. Now, we always sort of say, what are our rights? What are, you, what are our responsibilities? And our responsibilities as a nation is to look after our older communities. Our responsibilities as a family is to look after our older members of the family. So make the tax system, the investment system, positive towards that so that it is actually encouraging to make sure that you're looking after that family and looking after maybe other parts of other people's families as well. I hate to say you're not making grannies a tradable investment item. What you are doing though is you're actually getting people to take responsibility. I've got my rights but here are my responsibilities yeah. and my responsibilities are to society not just to the government but actually to this older family as well. We've got is the money to do so to tap into that. Yeah, it's interesting as a as an industry, as a financial planning industry, I think we are behind the curve on this. We've got to even work with government to find new ways to actually fund old age and, and, and care in, in old age. And there are opportunities out there. Um, I believe that the pension could be used in a totally different way. The reforms of pensions freedoms, I thought were a very good step towards doing this. The reality is we probably need a uh, consensus across all political parties that we expand that provision even more to allow us that freedom to look after people that have effectively brought us up and, and looked after us all our life. I agree with you. The time is for us to invest back in them in not only product terms, but also in our own personal time. Justin, mm. it's a really big hot potato. I'm sure we'll revisit this over periods of time uh, in the future. But for the time being, just in our cult, Stuart, I'd like to thank you for sparing your time for Future Life Television. Jill, thank you very much. It's been a real privilege and a pleasure. Thank you.